I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from the book Nelson, chapter 6.2, Radian Measure and Angles on Cartesian Plane. Here is question number 9 as requested by my subscriber Ellen. A leaning flagpole 5 meter long makes an obtuse angle with the ground. If the distance from the tip of the flagpole to the ground is 3.4 meters, determine the radian measure of the obtuse angle nearest to 100. So let's sketch it. So let's say this is the ground, right? And we have a flagpole which is leaning. So let's say this is the leaning flagpole. So I'm purposely making it highly leaned. And this angle is the obtuse angle. And let's call this angle as theta. What we are given here is that the leaning flagpole is 5 meter long. That means this length itself is 5 meters. It makes an obtuse angle theta with the ground. If the distance of the tip of the flagpole to the ground is 3.4, that means if I drop this perpendicular, right, then this distance from the tip to the ground is 3.4 meters. That's what is given to us. We need to find the angle theta in radians, right? So that is the question. So let us first find, let us say, this angle alpha, right? Then we can find theta by taking away alpha from 180 or pi, right? Now, in the given triangle, what are we really given? We are given side which is opposite to angle alpha and the hypotenuse, right? So we are given opposite side. which is 3.4 meters and we are given hypotenuse which is 5 meters. Now which trigonometric ratio should we use for this condition? So let's remember Sokotoa, right? Sokotoa is sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is opposite over adjacent. Now in our case we are given opposite and hypotenuse. That means we should use sine, right? So sine of alpha, which is this angle alpha, should be equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is opposite over hypotenuse. And that is 3.4 divided by 5, right? So from here, we can say alpha equals to sine inverse of 3.4 divided by 5. So we can use the calculator at this stage, find the angle. Remember the setting of the calculator should be in radians, right? So second function, shift sine inverse 3.4 divided by 5 bracket close equals to 0 0.7477. So we get 0 0.74 Seven, seven. So that is the angle which is alpha. But what we really need is the obtuse angle theta. So theta should be equal to, since this total is a linear angle, the line makes pi, right? This angle is 0 to pi. So theta should be pi minus alpha. So it is pi minus 0 0.7477. So we will do since I have this angle, I'll just do minus pi and take negative of that. So we get 2.393. So this angle for us is 2.3938. Now the question is, determine the radian measure of the obtuse angle nearest to 100th place. So we have to round it to the 100th place. So let's round it to 100 place. And so we get the angle as 2 point. So 3 will be dropped. So we get 2.39 radians. Now remember that radians is a ratio. So even if you don't write radians, it is assumed to be radians. But in case it was degrees, you have to write degrees, correct? So that is our answer for the given question. I hope the steps are very clear. Make a neat sketch. Right, understand what the statements are. In this case, we are given opposite and hypotenuse, so sine is the ratio it can be used. Find the acute angle, and then to find the obtuse angle, take away the acute angle from pi to get the answer. 
and round your answer to the nearest 100. I hope that helps. Thank you.